All right, Danny, what's the vibe today? Boats. <laughs> we have lunch reservation, lunch. We have 250 reservations at Skipper Canteen. It is like noon. We just accidentally caught Festival of Fantasy also from a bridge. It's turning out to be like the best place to yes. watch it is a bridge. Yes. If you want live entertainment, but no crowds, find a bridge. But yeah, let's do something. I'm like falling on the, on the, it, it's at an angle. It's like a weird. So dark. Okay, but now it's like spacious. Cool beans. I don't love that at all. Do they actually work? Oh my God, they do. <laughs> Shooting at the train. Oh, no. I'm not pulling the trigger. <laughs> there we go. I wasn't crazy. I heard her. Oh my god, he moves. I don't love this. I don't love this. We're not going to fit <laughs> outside. Oh my god. Oh. On today's Fun Facts with Carolyn, that's Walt Disney, W.D. Oh, there's a Q. It looks like a Q on there. It's a D! <laughs> it's Walt Disney! Sorry, I have a sneaking suspicion we're going to be getting another Fun Facts with Carolyn later because our restaurant is full of things! Get it's ready to be lectured about the history of the Society of Explorers and Adventurers SBA. in depth. It is. Oh, the ankles. The ankles. Ah! On bonus installment of Fun Facts with Carolyn, that little bird is from the uh, Silly Symphony, the old mill, um, where Walt Disney won an Oscar and invented the multiplane camera. Hi, bird. Um, we just waited like an hour and a half for Splash Mountain and didn't even get to ride it because of our dining reservation. Made it all the way to the bloom. All the way to where they say. All the way. And we said, Do you think we could make it? Maybe trying to be like, hey, give us a fist hit. No. So now we're going to Skipper Canty. The speed with which we just power walked through adventure lanes is not even funny. But we made it. Skipper Canty. Cheers. <sighs> what are these called, Danny? We got an appetizer for the first time ever, and they're like corn pancakes with beef and corn and salsa and avocado. They're very good. <laughs> they're playing the Grand Floridian music, y'all. I guess we're doing a shot of the food. We've got the Taste Like Chicken because it is, that is its actual name. And we've got the Perkins Thai noodles with chicken instead of tofu. We're now exploring the restaurant for all the little references. Albert Falls, founder of the Jungle Navigation Company. We have a barrel of the backside of water. That's what we're talking about. Take a wild guess which book opens the secret bookcase. The Jungle Book. <laughs> Our other Walt Disney fun fact of the day, True Life Adventures by Walter Elias Disney. That was his first set of live action shorts and actually is what the original Adventureland was based off of. It was supposed to be called True Life Adventureland and then was just shortened to Adventureland. So there we go, Walt Disney. The Eyes of Mara, written by Jones. Take a wild guess who Jones is. We got a, we got a Hong Kong Disneyland Mystic Manor book. Current exhibition in search of the If you Lights know, happen. you know. Y'all, they've even got a reference to extraterrestrial alien <laughs> encounter here. We've got Creatures from Space, written by Clench. We've got a book written here by Albert the Monkey. Also, Lassiter. Jay Lassiter. 
Hmm. Great characters of world literature. Wow, that was boring. I was expecting a more dramatic title. I'm gonna talk about these names more, but we've got Albert Falls. We've got Henry Mystic and Albert the Monkey. Who else do we have? Oh, we have Meriwether Adam Pleasure, Mary Ocean Mir, and I can't see the rest. Y'all, you cannot read that at all, but it's a letter to Henry Jones Jr. AKA Indiana Jones. Now we have Rosita, who has, you know, who is it? Jose goes, I wonder where Rosita went. She's writing, apparently. Also, there's just an ad for the Enchanted Tiki Room. <laughs> okay, going to the Jungle Cruise now because, yeah, we just ate at the restaurant. Danny, tell us about the Society of Explorers and Adventurers and all the random names we just threw at you. Oh my goodness, <laughs> so much to unpack there. Um, Already. Harrison Hightower? Yeah. Where is Harrison Hightower located? No. Yeah. Yes. I was like, is he in Tokyo or in Shanghai? One of the two. And then we got Albert the Monkey. Albert the Monkey attached to Lord Henry Mystic. Where is he at? Mystic Manor in Tokyo. Hong Kong. Hong Kong? Don't Hong Kong. He's Hong Kong. Because they can't have the Haunted Mansion in China because the Chinese have a very different view of the dead. Um, Harrison Hightower is Tokyo's Tower of Terror. His brother, George Hightower, married Constance Hatchaway, pulling the Haunted Mansion. And we lost the bandana, cool. Pulling the Haunted Mansion into the story. We have Mary Oceaneer. Which you can find here in Florida at Typhoon Lagoon. Yes, and what's her parrot's name? I can't remember. I can't remember either. They have a water slide at Typhoon Lagoon. Who else do we have? Oh, Indiana Jones is um, apparently part of the Society of Explorers and Adventurers. He wrote several books there. Okay, he had several books on the shelf. Um, oh, Barnabas T. Bullion is a part of the Society of Explorers and Adventurers. He's Big Thunder Mountain. He um, looks suspiciously like Tony Baxter. Meriwether Adam Pleasure. From Pleasure Island. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Fez in the background with the C logo on it. I don't think this is actually 50 minutes. Okay, gonna try to go through this quickly. We have. Oh, no, no. wow, already failed. We have Albert and Alberta Falls. They own the Jungle Navigation Company, aka the Jungle Cruise. We have Harrison Hightower, Tokyo Disneyland, Tower of Terror. Looks suspiciously like Joe Rohde. So, the fact that Harrison Hightower wrote a book on Expedition Everest, we think that's pretty funny. We have Henry Mystic and Albert the Monkey, Hong Kong. Mary, Mary Oceaneer, here. No, Mary no, Oceaneer here. is here. But she's also in another park, though. I don't know if she is. Point is, she's at least here. Yes. Basically, the Society of Explorers and Adventurers links every single Disney park around the world. And also, apparently, um, extraterrestrial alien accounts are somehow links. I don't know. They had a book on the shelf. More overlaps as well coming, but we never know. Yeah, you never know, and then suddenly just a S, E, and A pops up on something, and you're like, okay, so that ties in with everything. There's a big story at play that we're still uncovering. Yep. Everyone who knows about it is still uncovering it. Yep, you'll find like little documents. Read every like random thing you see in a queue, just in general in life, but also maybe it's sea related. Reading the Wikipedia or what is that fandom page on the Society of Explorers and Adventurers? We're very confident in Hightower, Mystic, Oceaneer, and Alberta Falls, but that's about it. According to the internet, this is who's in the Society of Explorers and Adventurers. According to the internet, Indiana Jones is not a part of the Society of Explorers and Adventurers, but his pilot friend, Jock, who has the hangar bar here in Disney Springs, is a part of it. Point is everything just everything just connects with each other and 
It all runs together, but it's kind of cool. Danny Elfman is a part of the Society of Explorers and Adventurers. Confirmed. Confirmed. <laughs> Another example. Here's an ad for Mystic Point, Lord Henry Mystic's um, house and the Mystic Manor ride at um, Hong Kong Disneyland. And then if we go over here, of the Hightower Hotel, Tokyo's Tower of Terror. And this is both in the queue for... Wait, what else do we have? We got December 31st. What's December 31st? Meriwether Adam Pleasure's Pleasure Island. It is New Year's Eve every night. Hightower Industries. Mystic, Mystic Point. Wow, it's everywhere. See. Skipper Canteen, Jock Lindsay is 100% in fact a member. And Danny, we are now leaving the realm of Disney and Jurassic Park ties into the Society of Explorers and Adventurers. Mr. Steven Spielberg, because Jock Lindsay was responsible for getting him off the island. So that means the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World franchise, all because of this one T Rex tooth. One tooth. Tyson. Tyson. Oh. Cue the Michael Scott. Um. Fool him, I did, my God. Today has changed from boat day to ties into the Society of Explorers and Adventurers. Day. Because of that portrait right there, the Haunted Mansion connects to the FEA. Now we're over at Big Thunder Mountain for more sea content. Hello, Barnabas T. Bullion, member of 
SEA who looks suspiciously like Tony Baxter. Wow. Wow. We practically found out what happened to Rosita. Mountain again. Not because it relates in any way to the Society of Explorers and Adventurers, but because of a personal vendetta. Because <laughs> it did us dirty this time. It, it really so did. <laughs> it really did. He's in <laughs> I got speckled, but it's mostly the face. Not that bad. Not soaked. Just wet. There we go. Sorry, we fried your brain. <laughs> We're stuck in the car because, um, because rain. It decided to pour over Flamingo Crossings and only Flamingo Crossings. We passed under a bridge going home and then all of a sudden just. For context, that bridge is 30 every... seconds away from the apartment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. So We're... we've been chilling here for good, what, 10 minutes maybe? I wouldn't even say 10 yet. Probably about five. Mm -hmm. Time somewhere in somewhere between. Somewhere in that time, yeah. Either way, I don't know if today was boat day. I don't know if today was SEA day. It was a lot of things. It was um word vomit day. That's what it was. Correction, it wasn't even word vomit day. It was fall down the Disney internet wormhole day. Yeah. I suggest you do the same because your brains will be sufficiently fried. Like ours are now. Mm -hmm. I haven't recovered from Howard Stark. I think that threw everyone for a loop. I don't think we were ready. Steven Spielberg <laughs> at that point was just kind of like, okay, Steven Spielberg. He said, <laughs> why not? At that point. At, at that point. If you have Howard Stark, you might as well have Spielberg, I guess. Also, um, that led us down the wormhole of like, Captain America could conceivably <laughs> running around Indiana Jones or, when he's just like in Berlin um, and, and they run into Hitler. Hitler. Like, can we just talk about like, that Captain America could conceivably just like, <laughs> exist in the Indiana Jones universe. And vice versa. There's a lot to unpack there that we've considered putting a PowerPoint together for. Oh yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have PowerPoint night, and it's just gonna be um, the the cohesive timeline of the of Society the of Explorers and Adventurers and its various members. <laughs> With <laughs> full cute. sidebars of like. Howard Stark and Spielberg and Captain Because they're America. not technically a part of the society, no. but <laughs> they the interacted part. with people who are a part of the society, mm -hmm. so they're linked in the universe, they're just not active members of the mm -hmm. society. And it's because of SEA, Jock Lindsay, and the Jock Avengers. Lindsay is really the one that... It's Jock Lindsay that kind of... Everybody else just like ties in with each worms. other, and then just Jock Lindsay over here is just like... Mm -hmm. Okay. But yeah, I have to work at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, so. I have work at 2. Very nice. Um, yeah. We're just going to go ahead and stop this right here. Oh <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just how we always are. It's fine. <laughs> Bye.